The following is a list of planets in the Saga of Seven Suns, a series of science fiction novels written by Kevin J. Anderson, and its sequel trilogy The Saga of Shadows. In the series, humanity has colonized many worlds in the Spiral Arm, and is divided into three branches, the Earth-based Terran Hanseatic League Hansa and its subordinate planets, the independent world Theric with its telepathic green priests, and the Romers, interplanetary traders who prefer starships and hidden bases to a conventional planet-based civilization. The only other known intelligent species in the galaxy are the Ildirans, an ancient civilization at its peak, and the long-extinct Clicus, whose planets remain empty but for their unusual ruins. Topic: Human. Topic: <laughs> Terran Hanseatic League. In the future, the human race has colonized multiple planets in the Spiral Arm, most of which are governed by the powerful Terran Hanseatic League Hansa. Earth, center of human culture and economy and the capital of the Hanseatic League. Mars, headquarters of the Earth Defense Forces (EDF) and their primary base for administration and training purposes. Oncea, gas giant planet with four large moons, which is chosen by the Hansa to test the recently discovered Clicus torch technology. The torch can ignite the planet and convert it into a sun, eventually making its satellite moons into habitable worlds perfect for human colonization. The test is successful but reveals the existence of the elemental hydrogues who live in the high-pressure core of the planet, and the inadvertent hydrogue genocide at the hands of the humans incites the ire of the other hidden hydrogue populations across the galaxy. Their brutal retaliation and forced cessation of the collection of the stardrive fuel ecti threaten to cripple both the human and Ildiran civilizations, and serve as an effective declaration of war. Boone's Crossing, forested planet attacked by the hydrogues in their search for the Verdani world forest. Corvus Landing, remote planet on which the Theron Green Priest Benito chooses to serve. Krenna, Ildiran planet on the very edge of the alien empire. An illness spreads among the Ildiran colonists that renders them blind, fundamentally terrified of darkness. The affected Ildirans go mad and die. Adar Korin evacuates the remaining colonists. Immune to the plague, humans from the Hansa begin settling there. Chairman Basil Wenceslas sends his agent Davlin Lotzer to infiltrate the colony and investigate whatever artifacts the Ildrians have left behind. Davlin finds nothing of note, but becomes attached to the colonists. He returns later to help evacuate them when a battle between the Hydrogues and Pharos extinguishes Krenna's son. Dremen, dismal world with some agricultural value. Jan Kovitz and his daughter Orly try to make a life there before joining the new colony on the abandoned Clicus planet of Corobus. New Portugal, planet known for its production of wine. Rama, Islamic religious haven. Rilika, resort world hard hit when the hydrogen-induced ecti shortage impacts interstellar commerce. Davlin Lotzer and R. Linda Kett stop at Rilika on their way to aid the human colonists escape Krenna, but Rilika's planetary governor Jane Pecker is loath to aid them with any of her colony's dwindling resources. When Davlin and R. Linda return with the Krenna refugees, Pecker grudgingly gives them temporary sanctuary. Soon after they leave, Rilika is attacked by Hydrogues, who destroy the human settlement. Rilika is later the site of a Clicus subhive battle. Rejak, ocean world, famed for the native algae that is an essential ingredient in anti-aging treatments. Usk, the Hansa makes an example of this planet after it renounces the Hansa Charter. Erika, General Kurt Lanyon of the EDF sets a trap at Erika to catch the Roma pirate Rand Soringard and his gang. As the war against the Hydrogues continues, remote Erika receives little Hansa support and their supply shipments dwindle. When the Hansa discovers that the Erikans have been hoarding Ecti and their governor refuses to surrender it, the EDF attacks, destroying important food stores and seizing the Ecti. Later, Den Peroni convinces the governor to establish Erika as the hub of a new black market that would allow Romas and planets abandoned by the struggling Hansa to trade with each other. Theron In the series, the most prominent human world aside from Earth is Theric, a planet covered in semi-sentient worldtrees that is quietly independent from the Hansa. Theric's green priests are able to commune with the trees and communicate telepathically across space when touching a treeling, making them indispensable for instantaneous communication across the galaxy. 
Theric, a sovereign world not part of the Terran Hanseatic League, Theric boasts lush vegetation and a variety of large insect animal life, and its food and textile exports are considered luxuries across the spiral arm. The planet is covered by the world forest, actually the elemental Verdani race, with whom Theric's green priests can commune telepathically. The planet is ruled as an independent state by its father and mother, and usually takes a neutral political stance. The last of the Verdani had fled to Theric after losing an ancient war against the Hydrogues. When the Hydrogue menace is reawakened, they eventually find the thriving Verdani and begin to lay waste to Theric. The Verdani's old allies, the Pharos, help to keep the Hydrogues at bay but do as much damage to Theric. The planet becomes the capital planet of the new confederation created King Peter, who has defected from the crumbling Hansa. He and his queen Estara, heiress to the mother and father of Theric, also assume those titles. In the aftermath of the Elemental War, the Verdani and their subservient green priests continue their proliferation across the spiral arm. Topic: <laughs> Roma. In the series, the Romas are clans of industrious humans living a clandestine existence in the fringes of space, managing a profitable economy centered on the sale of the valuable star drive fuel ecti and other commodities. Rendezvous, Roma central seat of government, not an actual planet but a connected collection of structures and hollowed asteroids in the Maya system. Long before the events of the series, the generation ship Kanaka had stopped in the Maya system to collect vital resources required to continue on their journey, and some of the colonists had decided to remain in the system. Rendezvous is later attacked and destroyed in a raid by the Earth Defense Forces after the Hansa had declared the Roma population outlaws. Barrymore's Rock, Roma fuel depot based on a rugged asteroid, later invaded by Clicus robots. Constantine III, stormy primordial planet and site of a Roma facility that extracts certain raw materials, such as long-chain molecules which are difficult to synthesize, from its thick atmosphere. DAYM, gas giant and site of one of the first Ildiran skymines to be leased to the Romas. Long before the events of the series, the DAYM skymine had fallen towards the depths of the gas giant. There had been only one survivor, who had spoken of strange creatures in the depths of DAYM. Urfano, gas giant orbited by a Roma skymine managed by Burnt Okia. When the war against the elemental Hydrogues begins, the Hydrogues living within the core of Urfano emerge and destroy the skymine, killing its occupants. Fori's Folly, large asteroid in orbit around a K2 star, settled by Clan Kowalski. A century before the events of the main series, a Roma named Carlton Fori had attempted to settle the asteroid, but he had accidentally miscalculated the orbits of its many moonlets. The site became known as Fori's Folly when many of his ships crashed into these moonlets. Franconia, gas giant and site of Roma skymine managed by Boris Goff, this gas giant suffers from moon-sized hurricanes. GLYX, gas giant orbited by an Ildiran skymine which was later handed over to the Romas and managed by Burnt Okia. Golgan, hydrogue occupied gas giant which is the site of the first human encounter with hydrogues. Following the test of the Clicus torch at Oncia, the hydrogues living within the core of Golgan emerge and destroy the Blue Sky Mine, owned by Roma Ross Tamblin. Later, Ross' brother Jess Tamblin stages a revenge attack against Golgan by sending asteroids along carefully calculated decaying orbits from the system's Oort cloud to collide with the gas giant. Golgan is later rendered safe for sky mining again when Jess unleashes elemental wentils into its atmosphere, keeping the hydrogue population isolated within Golgan's core. Hafin, hydrogue occupied gas giant and site of one of the first two Ildiran sky mines leased to the Romas. This sky mine is later destroyed by the hydrogues. Hafin was also the site of a Wentel hydrogue battle after the atmosphere of the gas giant is doused with Wentels in a bombing run led by Sesca Peroni. Hurricane Depot, artificially constructed station located at the center of a pair of orbiting planetoids. Used by the Romas as a commercial hub, during its management by Roberto Claren the complex is destroyed in a raid by the EDF. Isparis, planet rich in precious minerals that orbits close to its system's sun. Roma inventor Koto Okia designs and builds a facility there that allows mining but can withstand the planet's intense heat. The mining process culminates in ingots of material launched by railgun far out into safer zones of space for pickup by Roma ships. Later, a meteor passes close to the planet and misaligns the railgun, triggering a series of problems which compromise the safety of the facility and ultimately destroy it. Koto and his crews are able to flee to safety. 
Jonah Chapter 12 Incredibly Cold Planet and the location of a Roma colony designed by Cotto after the destruction of the mining facility on Isparus. Romas on the planet mine the gases frozen on its surface for use in industry. Sesca Peroni flees there with aged Roma speaker Jhy Okia after the EDF attack on Rendezvous, and Jhy later passes away peacefully. The facility is later destroyed when the workers inadvertently uncover a giant cache of Clicus robots hibernating deep within the ice. The robots swiftly attack the Roma base and level it with ease. Nico Chan Tyler and a wounded Seska escape the base alive and manage to rig a reactor to incinerate the base and the invading robots. Oskivel, gas giant whose rings are the site of a hidden Roma starship manufacturing site owned by Del Kellum. When EDF pilot Rob Brindle traces the hydrogue warships that had attacked Boone's Crossing back to Oskivel, Roma and EDF Captain Tasia Tamblin secretly warns Kellum of the impending EDF visit. Kellum manages to disguise the facility so that it goes unnoticed by the EDF battle group. The EDF forces are decimated by the hydrogues and flee. While salvaging the wreckage, Kellum's people find some survivors and bring them back to the shipyards. Needing to keep the location of his facility secret, Kellum reluctantly refuses to let the survivors leave. Kotto Okia examines an intact hydrogue warglobe left behind after the battle and uses it to come up with his doorbell technology as a weapon against the hydrogues. Plumas, ice-bound planet where water mines operated by the Roma Tamblin clan are located. The main settlement is deep under the icy surface in caverns lit by artificial suns. When Jess Tamblin unknowingly leaves a trace of Wentel energy on Plumas, it becomes corrupted and seeps into the long-lost frozen body of his mother Carla, and reanimates her. Possessed by the Wentel, she uses its power to begin destroying the facility before she is stopped by Jess. P. Toro, gas giant and site of a Roma skymine owned by the Tyler clan before the Hydrog ultimatum halts most Ect collection. Later, P. Toro is the site of the first offensive use of the Clickus torch by the EDF. Sunshine, photon-bathed planetoid settlement run by the Tamara clan, which consists of subterranean warrens for habitation whose energy demands are provided by solar collectors. Work is done on the planetoid's surface only at night. Weller, gas giant and site of a Roma skymine managed by Shireen Pasternak. This skymine is one of the earliest to be destroyed by the Hydrogues. Five years later, Weller is the site of a Roma Blitzkrieg raid and a bombing run performed by Del Kellum which seeds the atmosphere of the gas giant with Wentels. Sheol, introduced in the dark between the stars 2014, Sheol is an unstable, lava-covered world that is the site of Lee Iswanda's mining operations, which extract useful and valuable materials from the environment. Iswanda ignores Garrison Reeves' warnings that the planet's temperatures may soon fluctuate and exceed the shielding limits of the facility, and a disaster soon occurs. The entire mining facility, including the habitation modules, is consumed by the lava, and 1543 workers are killed. Ildiran Empire In the series, the Ildiran Empire has existed for over 10,000 years, living peacefully due to a communal mental interconnectedness called the Thism. Each Ildiran has what is called a soul thread, and these soul threads are woven together by their leader, the Mage Imperator. Ildirans have a very specialized society, with specific castes that are adept at performing particular tasks. The castes are physically different from one another, and have different suffixes at the end of their names. Ildirans are the first extraterrestrials that humanity encounters upon exploring space beyond Earth, and the Ildirans share their stardrive technology with humans. Ildira, capital of the Ildiran Empire, heavily populated primarily due to the Ildiran fear of isolation. Ildira is in a binary system, however its unusually close proximity to two other star systems, results in seven individual suns being clearly visible with a high degree of magnitude in the Ildiran sky, as a result, the planet experiences no night. The Mage Imperator resides in the capital city of Magistra. Dobro, Ildiran world whose designate is traditionally the second-born noble son of the ruling Mage Imperator. The planet is secretly the site of a clandestine breeding program sanctioned for centuries by a line of mage imperators trying to create a telepath that can communicate with the hydrogues. A main component of this program is a group of captive humans from the generation ship Burton, once peaceful cohabitants on Dobro but ultimately enslaved. The human green priest Nira Kali is forced into the program by mage imperator Siric but is ultimately freed after prime designate Jorah rises to power. 
Hirilka, Ildiran resort planet whose designate is traditionally the third-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Hirilka is located in the Horizon Cluster, and is notable as the center of production of the potent stimulant drug Sheen. After nearly being killed in a Hydrogue attack, the Hirilka designate Ruza, younger brother to Mage Imperator Jora, awakens from a coma and is driven to overthrow Jora. Using the ability of Sheen to dull the Ildiran's connection to the telepathic web of Thism, Ruza converts Jora's heir Thor and a growing number of Ildirans to his cause. Ruza kills his own successor Peri and kills many Ildrians who resist him before he is defeated. Jora appoints his young son Rydke as designate. Ruza is later resurrected as an avatar of the pharaohs, who are soon out of his control and devouring Ildiran souls. A pharaoh hydro battle nearly destroys Hirilka's son before the pharaohs are victorious. Kolusa, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the fourth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Skosha, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the fifth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Alturas, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the sixth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Alturas is the third planet to be targeted by Ruza for induction into his alternate thism. Galt, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the seventh-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Kamen, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the eighth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Shonor, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the ninth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Shonor is the fourth world targeted by Ruza after Alturas. Hild, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the tenth-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Vondor Qe, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the eleventh-born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Hrel Oro, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the twelfth born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Hrel Oro is a dry and warm planet with very little vegetation, though it is rich in minerals and is mined by the Ildirans for desirable metals. Due to the arid climate, it is populated mainly by members of the Scaly Kith. Power is supplied to Ildiran settlements by solar power stations and wind turbines. Jeluria, Ildiran planet whose designate is traditionally the 13th born noble son of the ruling mage imperator. Ruza travels to Jeluria with his captured warliners to absorb the planet's population into his Thism network. The Jeluria designate refuses to cooperate with Ruza, who kills the designate, takes the planet by force and coerces the designate in waiting to join him. Marata, Ildiran resort world, its Marata prime complex is bathed in constant sunlight for half the year. A second complex, Marada Seca, is being constructed by commissioned Clicus robots on the other side of the planet so that the visiting population can utilize the resort world year-round. When the Clicus robot master plan commences, they awaken a hibernating hive of robots buried deep below the surface and destroy both complexes to build ships and weapons. They are later wiped out by the Ildiran Solar Navy and the return of the original Clicus race. Comptor, forested Ildiran planet, the saga of the Seven Suns celebrates one of his former designates, the favorite of the then Mage Imperator, who had died there in a forest fire. Garoa, Ildiran planet in the Horizon Cluster that is captured by Ruzaz Thism Network. Oryx, former Ildiran colony world that is virtually forgotten after its fall. Oryx had been, according to Ildiran Apocrypha, the first Ildiran world to be vanquished by the Shana Ray, who had covered the entire world and the scepter of warliners that was sent to defend it in a blanket of darkness, killing the Ildirans. Krona 3 gas giant orbiting in the Krona binary system, close to Ildira. Before the novels, it had been home to the last sky mine still in Ildiran hands. Adar Koran tries twice to clear Krona 3 of Hydrogues, and only succeeds the second time by sacrificing his life. Later, both the Hansa and the Ildirans set up new sky mines on the gas giant, but soon the Hydrogues reawaken and the sky miners flee. Krona 3 is also where the Hydrogues keep many of their human prisoners, including EDF pilot Rob Brindle. Eventually, Jess Tamblin flies his Wentel ship straight into the Hydrogue city and destroys it with Wentel power, also rescuing the prisoners, who by then include his own sister Tasia Tamblin. Kuavar, introduced in the dark between the stars 2014, Kuavar is an oceanic world. Ildirans of the swimmer Kith live in the sea around the research complex of Tamar, one of Nira's half-human, half-Ildiran daughters. Tamar studies and cares for the less successful mixed breeds from the defunct Dobro breeding program. 
Cuivar is also the site of the distillery run by Roma del Kellum, the former speaker of the Romas. Clicus As the series begins, the Clicus race is thought to be extinct, and their abandoned worlds are xenoarchaeological curiosities. After Clicus transportal technology is discovered on Rynik Co., many more Clicus planets are discovered and colonized by humans. Laro, ancient capital of the Clicus race and the first Clicus world to be discovered by humans. Tasia Tamblin says of it on arrival, it's not exactly the garden spot of the galaxy, but at least it isn't a hellhole. After the Roma population are declared outlaws by the Hansa, the EDF detains Roma prisoners of war on Laro. The Clicus race returns and seizes control of Laro, killing the EDF overseers and preparing the Roma colony for assimilation. Corribus, Clicus world where it is believed that the Clicus race had been finally exterminated by an unknown foe. Xenoarchaeologists Louis and Margaret Colicos discover the Clicus torch on Corribus. Human colonists arrive on Corribus through the newly discovered Clicus transportal, but their settlement is soon destroyed by Clicus robots in stolen EDF warships. Hud Steinman and Orly Kovitz are the only survivors of the attack and eventually escape the planet. See Gelda, former Clicus world resettled by humans which has a very long, cold winter season. It is recaptured by the Clicus, but Adar Zanon rescues the stranded human settlers. Happiness, Neo Amish world to which Prince Daniel is exiled by King Peter. Hyfer, abandoned Clicus world retaken by the Clicus before being destroyed by Clicus robots. Rajapa, Clicus world regained by an independent Clicus Bredex. Reinick Co., Louis and Margaret Colicos and their compi DD discover a hidden Clicus city on Reinick Co., in which they discover an intact Clicus transportal. The seemingly docile Clicus robots in their party turn on them, killing Louis and abducting DD while Margaret escapes through the transportal. Hansa chairman Basil Wenzlis later sends Davlin Lotzer and R. Linda Kett to Reinick Co. to find the missing xenoarchaeologists. Pym, desiccated world once inhabited by the Clicus, it has huge salt lakes and mineral deposits. EDF General Kurt Lanyon leads an expedition to Pym to rescue its human inhabitants from the returned Clicus, and is later killed when he returns to eradicate the Clicus. Schuld, Clicus world whose returned Clicus warriors destroy a small part of the Clicus robot fleet. Zurail or Szol, Clicus world first explored by Davlin Lotzer but deemed unfit for human habitation due to its large predators and acrid air. It is later used by the Clicus robots as a base of operations for their war against humanity. Wallamore, former Clicus world colonized by humans using the Clicus transportal. The Clicus robots arrive and destroy the settlement, but are in turn destroyed themselves when the Clicus Bredex from Laro invades. The Clicus robot Cyrix and his soldier Compies next bombard the planet and destroy the Clicus. Zalizar, abandoned Clicus world settled by humans in the colonization initiative. Zedcal, abandoned Clicus world not settled in the colonization initiative and quickly retaken by the Clicus. Elgid, introduced in the dark between the stars 2014, Elgid is the abandoned Clicus world that Margaret Colicos retires to after the events of the Ashes of Worlds 2008. She studies the ruins there until her eventual death by natural causes, and is buried there. In the dark between the stars, Princess Arita of Theric travels there to study the local botany, in particular a possibly sentient variety of cacti called whistlers. Tom Rom also comes to Elgid to retrieve royal jelly glands from mummified Clicus bodies left on the planet. Later, the Shana Ray ally with the remaining Clicus robots and destroy the colony on Elgid, killing its inhabitants. Topic Other. Charybdis, primordial ocean world where Jess Tamblin first disseminates the Wentels. He is then infused with Wentel energy as a life-saving measure after the Hydrogues destroy his ship over the planet. The Wentels build him a starship from ocean materials. Later, Seska Peroni is also infused with Wentel energy on Charybdis after being mortally wounded on Jonah Chapter 12. Jilarix, uninhabited forested world that is attacked by the Hydrogues in their search for the remnants of the Verdani. Eldora, colony world to which Branson Roberts travels in the Ashes of Worlds 2008. 
IAWA. Long before the events of the series, the Ildirans had transported the human colonists from the Generation ship Kanaka here. However, after becoming accustomed to a different way of life on board the Kanaka and their crops suffering from a blight, the colonists had left IAWA to reunite with the community that had settled at Rendezvous. Okia, floating city in space introduced in the dark between the stars 2014, built and once inhabited by the alien Onthos race. In the form of five spokes of varying lengths radiating out from a central hub, the city is discovered and newly colonized by the Roma clan Reeves. They name it Okia after J. H. Y. Okia, famed former speaker of the Romas. The Romas and their green priest Shellard soon discover that the city's previous occupants, the Onthos, had died from a plague centuries or even millennia before, and soon the human colony is overcome and extinguish themselves. Pergamus, introduced in the dark between the stars 2014, Pergamus is a research planetoid wholly owned by the wealthy Zoe Alarchus. Heavily defended, Zoe's facility is a series of independent stations which study diseases and find cures, but all for her own collection rather than helping mankind. Vaconda, jungle planet on which Zoe Alakis' parents, Adam and Evelyn, had spent years studying the local botany and resources for useful and valuable extracts prior to the events of the Dark Between the Stars 2014. Evelyn dies after a vehicle accident when Zoe is a child, and Adam later perishes after contracting the then incurable Heidegger's syndrome. Destroying the Alarcus Laboratory Station in preparation for leaving the planet for good, Zoe and her minion Tom Rom discover a vein of precious prisdiamonds, which makes her fabulously wealthy, 